All right, are you planning on moving to the Okanagan and you've checked out Kelowna, but maybe you feel it's a little too busy or maybe it's a little too expensive? Well, if you want to live in a city that has all of the incredible features of living in the Okanagan, but more of a laid back atmosphere and on average home prices at around $250,000 less, then Vernon, British Columbia may be the perfect option for you. And in this video, I'm going to be doing a full tour of the city and teaching you everything you need to know about living in the Okanagan's second largest city. So let's take a look. All right, I'm here in the Lakeview Park of the East Hill neighborhood in Vernon, and I'm gonna give you a couple stats, to let you know what Vernon is really all about. Now located about 50 minutes north of Kelowna, just along Highway 97, Vernon is surrounded by three beautiful lakes, those being Swan Lake, Lake Okanagan, and Kalamalka Lake. Vernon is about a fourth of the size in terms of population, just over 40,000 compared to Kelowna is 164,000. That's obviously combining Kelowna and West Kelowna. And it's about a fourth of the size again at 95 kilometers squared compared to Kelowna's 335 kilometers squared. Vernon is known for its fantastic lake access. I mean, it's surrounded by three beautiful lakes. It's easy access to nature tons of hiking trails, tons of beaches, it's tranquil environment, and the fact that it feels much more like you're living in a big town rather than a city. Although it is a city and has all the city amenities, it definitely has more of a town feel, which might be ideal for a lot of people. The median single family home price in Kelowna is $985,000 compared to Vernon's $740,000, almost a $250,000 difference. And it doesn't mean just because you're in Vernon, you're getting a lot less. There is luxury waterfront property, some fantastic communities and also affordable single-family homes condos townhouses 55 plus communities it really does have everything now a big difference between Kelowna and Vernon is going to be its downtown core now the highway runs right through Vernon's downtown and off of 30th which is their main street you're gonna find a ton of fantastic coffee shops restaurants all in the central downtown core as well as a ton of businesses banks schools and then they also have an additional kind of downtown town area I guess it's a commercial area about five minutes north along highway 97 is a new Anderson subdivision which is gonna have a lot of your big box stores grocery shop shopping Home Depot and that and you're gonna notice too that Vernon's downtown unlike Kelowna isn't filled with big skyscrapers and high rises it has more modest small condo complexes but Vernon's downtown core is surrounded by four major neighborhoods those being Harwood Alexis Park Mission Hill and the East Hill neighborhood now each with its own character characteristics Harwood which is in the north west section of the downtown is an older area this area is very close to the Anderson subdivision while also having great access to downtown it's gonna have some older homes some condos some townhouses with the median home price being just under seven hundred thousand dollars now the Alexis Park community is another great option and it's going to have Alexis Park another big park and all of these areas do have great access to parks schools and multiple access routes to downtown so I'm not gonna repeat myself every time I talk about one of them all four surround downtown easy access in in and out of downtown into the highway. Alexis Park also has the access to Turtle Mountain, which I'm gonna to get to in the next location in this video. And it has similar older single family homes, some newer ones, some small condos, and some great 55 plus options. Mission Hill is gonna be on the southwest side of downtown, and it's going to be among the most affordable of the four options. Again, you're gonna have the parks, the schools, and you can have some pretty nice views depending on what side of the hill you're on. I mean, you're either gonna get some views of downtown, some greater views of the Okanagan Valley, and you're gonna have some earlier 2000 built homes but the majority of the homes are gonna be quite a bit older and quite a bit smaller in terms of size and they are gonna be more affordable with the median home price closer to six hundred thousand dollars and lastly on the east side of downtown is going to be the East Hill neighborhood which is arguably one of my favorite neighborhoods in all of Vernon and you're also gonna have great access out to the BX's which again I will get to later in the video but and the thing I love about East Hill is the tons of options you have and it's older character homes, wartime homes that are really, really unique and cool to see. Uh, I'm gonna be comparing uh, a lot of parts of Vernon to Kelowna, like Vernon's downtown, for instance, is a lot closer to West Kelowna's downtown. You know, it doesn't have the excitement, but it does have the amenities. And the East Hill neighborhood, I feel like is a giant, expanded version of Kelowna's Abbott Street. These homes are very unique. Some of them are incredibly old and they are really cool to look at. I mean, if my sister was living here, this would be her absolute dream. She loves these really unique character style homes and 
East Hill has plenty of that. And like I said, you're gonna have 100 year old homes, you're gonna have 70s, 80s, 90s, some new infills here. So it's going to give you a variety of options. Another nice thing about East Hill is it's very close to Pheasant Valley Road, which is a road that's gonna lead you up to Silver Star, which is Kelowna's version of Big White. Silver Star is a fantastic mountain that has a lot of people claiming that they like it better than Big White actually because of its elevation. It gets a lot less white out. It's notably a lot less busy compared to Big White, but it doesn't have what I find the charm of Big White's village, which if that's not something you're interested in, that's not gonna matter to you. So Silver Star might be a fantastic option if you're a big skier snowboarder. And the median home price in East Hill is gonna be around that $700,000 mark. So these are the four core neighborhoods that surround the downtown, but let's move on to a couple communities that are a little on the pricier side, but gonna have some incredible views. So right now I'm in the infamous Turtle Mountain section of the city and although you access Turtle Mountain from the Alexis Park neighborhood it's actually part of a very beautiful and expensive area of the city called Bella Vista. So this neighborhood and specifically Turtle Mountain in general is going to give you some incredible valley views of the city. You can get views of Swan Lake, you can get views of Lake Okanagan depending on where you're situated on the mountain and you get some pretty incredible new builds, a lot of of early mid 2000 craftsman style homes and there are plenty of other options as well with the medium price at the time of this video for this area around nine hundred thousand dollars so a little above the average medium price uh, for the rest of the city but again this area and the next area we're going to be talking about are two of the more expensive areas in all of vernon so here you have a couple options for premier high-end communities, one of those being Lake Ridge Estates and another being one of the most popular communities in all of Vernon and that is the Rise which obviously is situated around the Rise Golf Course in Vernon which is an incredible golf course that's going to give you some amazing views and is one of the most popular courses not just in Vernon but the entire Okanagan so it's a must see. So moving on to the next door neighborhood going a little further east and going along Lake Okanagan is going to be the Adventure Bay neighborhood so another expensive neighborhood here and you find this neighborhood by continuing down Bella Vista Road onto Tronson and you take this very windy road along the lake all the way through the Adventure Bay neighborhood this community has some incredible views of the lake some luxury homes some gated communities and some smaller condo options as well and like most areas in the Okanagan, the reason the price is going up in these areas is because you have waterfront properties and lake views, which is always going to jack up the price no matter where you are. Now from the farthest point of the Adventure Bay neighborhood, you're going to be about 20 minutes from downtown. Like I said, you have great access to the lake and you also have quick access to Vernon Regional Airport, which yes, Vernon does have an airport. I know Vernon has an airport, but I wasn't sure actually where you could fly out of here. And for the most part, I don't really know where you can fly out of. There seems to be a lot of training, manufacturing and commercial flying out of this airport and just of note another small community just tucked under the Bella Vista neighborhood is going to be this small community of Westmount almost an unknown neighborhood of the area and kind of gets missed or lumped in with other neighborhoods Westmount is a fantastic little area not as expensive as Bella Vista it has a lot of commercial property some 70s 80s 90s homes you're not going to get some of the incredible views you would get in Bella Vista but you're also not going to get that price tag now you can see from some of the b-roll here this is going to be up there for some of the top neighborhoods if you're looking for views and as you can see just like Kelowna in Vernon there are going to be a ton of options and you got to find the right one that fits your lifestyle and as a relocation specialist I can help you do that so make sure you call text email me at the information on the screen in the description and pinned in the comments down below if you want someone to help you simplify the process when buying a home in the Okanagan. Now as Bella Vista is one of the larger neighborhoods in Vernon I'm going to bring you to probably the overall largest and another favorite in the Vernon area. Let's go take a look. All right, I'm here in the Okanagan Landing neighborhood. Like I said, this is one of the most popular communities in all of Vernon and this sprawling area really does have something for everybody. Now I say that a thousand times, but this place has luxury single family homes, some waterfront single family homes, some lake views, affordable single family homes, condos, townhouses, 55 plus communities and even mobile home parks. So I would say this is probably the most versatile of all of the neighborhoods in Vernon. And it has some of the widest ranges of prices. Right now at the time of this video, the medium price for a home here is around $750,000. So slightly above average. But like I said, with the options at your disposal here, you can definitely find something that's gonna suit your lifestyle and suit your budget. I'm down at the Marshall Field, which is a huge sports field. It has tons of rooms here, soccer field, baseball field, sports complex, playground. And along with the options here, I like the fact that it has a, a good diversity of homes. I find the farther you go south on Okanagan Landing Road and as you kind of 
curl around Lake Okanagan on the western side of it I guess it would be almost the nicer the homes get that's where you kind of get those incredible lake views those luxury communities and tons of new developments you also have a bunch of parks obviously like this one and some great options for schools here and just a quick side note if you're kind of wondering why I'm giving you so much more handheld footage of the homes here that's because I've learned today that almost everywhere in Vernon is a restrictive fly zone for my drone so usually I get that nice b-roll showing you mountain side shots of the homes which I could get when I was a little deeper but but this regional airport is starting to be a pain in my ass but I'm still getting you nice shots of home so don't worry about that the nice thing also about uh, Okanagan Landing as a neighborhood is it gives you kind of sneaky access out of Vernon. Instead of having to follow the road going back to downtown and heading out through the highway, you can actually sneak through the back end. So what you do is you take Okanagan Landing Road to Bench to Bench Row Road that hooks up with Cominage and that's actually going to bring you right in behind the Predator Ridge Resort and obviously the beautiful Sparkling Hills Resort. Now if you've heard me talk about Sparkling Hills, it's one of the premier spas and resorts probably in the country it's an incredible place in the okanagan and a must check out it's got these beautiful spas and steam rooms indoor outdoor pools luxury rooms a beautiful restaurant and it was created by the guy who invented swarovski crystals which i have a difficult time saying as it is and then there's the predator ridge area which i'll definitely do a video in the future on that entire area but you have a lot of amazing condos there, some beautiful single family homes, and it's this really cool master plan community. It centers around the golf course out there, which is also another premier course in our area. From there, you can hit the highway and you cut off about 20 plus minutes on your way to the Kelowna airport or to downtown Kelowna. And this area, and Okanagan Landing is about eight minutes from downtown Vernon. So in terms of convenience, it's kind of like Kelowna's Glenmore area. It gives you a lot of options in terms of housing and also in terms of access routes. So this area, great for views, great for affordable homes, and great for space, but not quite as good as the BX areas. Now the BX areas are split into two categories, North BX and South BX. It's technically part of the greater Vernon area, but it's on the east side of Vernon and I wholeheartedly believe it's actually just part of Vernon. And the reason for the BX name is it actually used to be part of the BX Ranch acreage back in the day. Now this is Vernon's most rural area and I really compared a lot to Kelowna's Southeast and Kelowna's Joe Rich area. So here you're gonna get sprawling land, a lot of large acreage lots, big acreages, some hobby farms, with most of the land being in the ALR. Most of the homes here are gonna be on a septic system and the cost of the homes is definitely gonna be dependent on how much land is included in the sale. So if you wanna be in really sprawling, big lots, huge acreages, and be about as close to Vernon as you could possibly be, then the BX areas are gonna be a great option for you. And the nice thing is compared to that of Joe Ridge or Southeast Kelowna in the Kelowna area, BX North and South, uh, the land here is gonna be much more affordable than the Kelowna area. So we're almost through the whole city and now let me meet you at my absolute favorite location in all of Vernon. All right, I am in probably my favorite spot in all of Vernon and that is Cow Beach right off of Kalamalka Lake and arguably one of the most popular neighborhoods in the entire greater Vernon area and that neighborhood is Coldstream. Now technically Coldstream is not essentially a neighborhood of Vernon, it's its own municipality but it uses a lot of Vernon services and it's synonymous with Vernon. I mean one of the neighborhoods inside of Coldstream, Middleton Mountain, is actually divided in half between Vernon and Coldstream. Middleton Mountain is a fantastic option and an amazing neighborhood like I said divided between Coldstream and Vernon and here you're going to find a ton of single family homes some townhouses minimal condos that are going to give you some incredible views of Kalamalka Lake great access to the highway great access to the beach great access to the college and honestly it's one of the best areas to have access to nature right at the top of Middleton Mountain you're going to find this gigantic nature preserve with tons of hiking trails and the nice part about that is it will always remain undeveloped and Kalamalka Lake as you know is one of the most beautiful lakes in all of the Okanagan and honestly National Geographic back in 2018 voted it as one of the best lakes in the entire world that's 
how beautiful it is. And I actually did some research on this and found out some cool information. I'll share this little fun tidbit with you. One of the reasons it's so beautiful, why it gets this like incredible turquoise green color is the fact that it's what's called a Mara Lake. I'll give you the short version because I can't really explain the long version myself. I don't know the science that well, but basically the color of this lake comes from calcium carbonate that's deposited from limestone that came into this lake like 10,000 years ago from the Fraser Valley Glacier. And it's deposited in the lake and the sediment in the summer rises to the top when the lake heats up and it gives you this reflection and it is what you're seeing when you see these turquoise green incredible colors that the lake looks like and i thought that was interesting too because i noticed sometimes i'll drive by here maybe in the winter and that and it doesn't look as beautiful and i thought oh maybe it's because it's overcast maybe i'm just not actually seeing what the lake really looks like but in the summer when it heats up the ph rises that's when you're really going to see how incredible this lake actually looks so there you go fun fact i'm full of tons of useful information like that if you want it so you have Middleton Mountain here and then Coldstream as its own municipality has a population around 11,000. Uh, it's actually a little bit more expensive, probably because it's basically more single family homes. Like in Coldstream, you have single family homes, you have some townhouses, but in the, in the way of condos, this is probably not the area you wanna be looking in. The medium price here at the time of this video is actually closer to a million dollars. So a little bit up in price, but you really get this kind of luxury town feel when you're in Coldstream. Obviously the houses here, they're gonna be more expensive the closer you are to the lake, the better lake view you have. And other than Middleton Mountain, you're gonna have some other premier communities like Coldstream Valley Estates and Calview Estates. And there is some incredible homes here built right along the water. You have waterfront properties, and then you have homes that are built right alongside of the cliff on some pretty steep slopes. It is kind of difficult to build here because the slopes going down to the water are pretty extreme, but there are some homes that have that, and obviously they're gonna come with a pretty hefty price tag. And this area is going to be perfect for people who want a little space. I mean, Vernon is quieter than Kelowna, but Coldstream's even quieter than that. You wanna be right on the water, you wanna be right on Kalamalka Lake, Coldstream is a great option, especially for those who want to be a little bit out of the ways, but also probably the best access to the highway. I mean, Middleton Mountain is gonna give you, it, it's literally runs alongside the highway for a good chunk of it. So if you wanna be in a neighborhood that's on the lake, one of the best lakes in the entire world, easy access to the highway, closer to Vernon than it is Kelowna, but still some of the best access to Kelowna. This is gonna be a fantastic option for you. And like I said at the beginning of the video, Vernon does have everything that Kelowna has just with the volume turned down a little bit. You have your luxury homes, you have your single family homes with some great affordable options and everything in between. And really it's going to come down to lifestyle and which area, which neighborhood is going to best suit your needs. Even more importantly, which areas absolutely aren't gonna fit your lifestyle. And to figure that out, you're gonna have to reach out to me. You gotta call me, text me, email me anytime so I can simplify the process and help you find the perfect home to purchase in our beautiful area. And if you really wanna stack up Vernon versus Kelowna, you gotta check out my full videos where I do a full city tour of Kelowna and West Kelowna. Compare the two. It's gonna have a ton of information for you and really let you see what the big differences are between the two cities. And make sure you stick around to the very end of the video to be directed to something completely different in my full city tour of Lake Country. And again, if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Comment down below on what area you want me to take a tour of next and give you more information on. Again, I am a relocation specialist here. I love when people reach out to me, so make sure you do. Once again, my name is Brett Paholi, your Okanagan real estate professional. This is my channel, Living in Kelowna, BC, and I will catch you in the next video.